Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from iOS Softmodder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to figure out all the meanings of your favorite emojis. Now I use emojis pretty much every single day, anytime I can, because I think they're hilarious and just way more fun than just using a regular letter. Um, so what we're going to do to figure this out, we're going to go into settings, general, and we're going to go all the way down to accessibility. And you'll see that right here. Just kidding, right here. And we're gonna go to speak selection. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna slide it on. And then you can see here, it'll say speaking rate. You probably wanna leave that the same. And then dialects, which you think is fun. You can do Australian English, British English, obviously different languages, but my favorite is British English, just because I think they sound awesome. Um, we're going to go back, back, you can just hit the home button, and then you can go anywhere. So let's just go to the spotlight and then enter in a couple emojis. Now you can do one at a time, which I'll show you right now. Um, and then you're going to tap, and then select. Just hit select all, it's way easier. And then you'll see that right there, it'll say speak, you're going to touch that. And then it'll tell you, a monkey that can hear no evil. I just thought it was a monkey closing his closing his ears, but apparently that's exactly what it means. Um, so we can just go to my recents. I put in a couple that I didn't think anyone would know, like that. I don't know what that is. So I put that in there. The pile of poop, I guess. Put that in there, and then, like, what is that? I have no idea. Or this. So I put all those in there. And you're going to tap select, and then select all again, and then speak. And I hope you guys can hear this. Silhouette of Japan. Smiling pile of poo. Japanese symbol for beginner. Hot springs. So, it's a silhouette of Japan, that first one. I guarantee you, 99% of people had no idea what that meant. And then a Japanese symbol for, for beginner, and then a, a hot spring. So I mean it's actually really cool. I didn't know I didn't know I had no clue what those things were. It's also funny to have your iPhone talking to you in a British accent describing what your emojis are. So that's really how you do it. You can turn it off by just going to accessibility and then turning off speak to text, speak to talk. Um so that's how you figure out what your emojis mean and how you can have your iPhone actually speak it to you. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial on iOS Softmodder. Thanks, guys.